I got this question the other day, 23 hours ago, from this grumpy coder. Apparently, he says, Hey, Mike, I can't solve basic math problems on code forces. Like, I think about it a lot, and I still can't get the solution. When I see the editorial, they say they use a simple formula, but I never can come to my head. How can I improve? Good question. Good question, grumpy coder. Okay, so for me, personally, if it's a math problem that you have very trouble to use, right? It's it's a math problem. You need to come up with a formula, right? Ideally, even like basic math problems, you need to come, come up with a formula. Generally, to come up with a formula, right? Uh, there's, you have to figure out some relation. Maybe it's like, a, maybe it's a quadratic equation. Maybe it's a linear equation. Something Something occurs, right? There's a certain observation or relation between two, two corresponding numbers or something, an X or a Y that allows you to come up with a formula to solve the problem. So now, um, what if you can't solve the problem? That's a good question. Okay, so what generally what I do is once I f try it my hardest, like absolute hardest, like probably an hour or an hour and a half, and I still can't solve the problem. Let's say I still can't solve the math problem. What I generally do is what I do is I end up reading the editorial. Once I read the editorial, I'll look at the problem and I'm like, okay, that is that is basically how they the equation that is the equation what they got okay that's what happens that's the equation that's a math problem yada 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 okay now what i normally do now is i do not copy and paste the code of the equation from the math problem i do not do that so here's what i do all right uh because generally to me when i when I, when you copy and paste code in the math equation you end up not learning anything Right to me, you're just ending up copying and pasting the code, and then you you just say the number of problems you just solved just increased by one, right? But that really doesn't that doesn't help you. That doesn't that uh, that really doesn't help you at all in terms of solving problems. So what do you do? Okay, once you finish reading the editorial, and you have the math problem, right? And you've looked at the math formula. Here's what you do: you stop what you're doing, and you take a break, and whatever you do, you let let it absorb it in your head, and you do something else. Maybe a day or two days, maybe yeah, maybe two days, maybe three days, right? Or or another thing, go do another problem. Do another problem. Like there, maybe your problem is too hard. Do a little bit easier problem, some easier math problem, but whatever. Let the editorial sink in your brain. Now, after a day or two days, come back to the problem and try to figure out the math equation yourself. Sooner or later, you should be able to figure out the math equation yourself, right? After forgetting the problem, after completely forgetting the problem. You have to try to figure out the math equation yourself. If you still can't figure out the math equation yourself, look at the editorial again and repeat. Okay. The reason why this works is that um, if you let the editorial sink in and then you solve the derive the math formula yourself, you're more likely to come up with the relations given another problem, right? If, if you just find a problem and you just copy and paste the code, it's not going to help you at all. So generally what you should do is you should, after reading the editorial, take a day or two, Forget about the problem, maybe do another problem, then come back to it, and then then try to solve the problem again. If you still can't solve a problem, read the editorial again, wait a day, come back to it, try coding it again, and then sooner or later, you're gonna figure out the math equation of how it happened, how it worked, okay? So that's basically how you would improve. Another thing, if the problem is too hard, maybe it's like, uh, I don't know, let's say it was a problem 900 problem, right? That's a math question. Maybe you should go to an 800 problem. I don't know, maybe you, maybe you should like drop down a little bit more. I mean, it's up to you. But yeah, generally this is how I would do it, how I solve math problems. It generally helps me improve. Um, back when I was like, I was at like level 800 and then I, now I'm level rank 1000. So it's not that much big of a jump, but it is still a jump to me. Before I couldn't even solve division 2A problems. So now I can solve 2A and then sometimes I could solve 2B. But generally the case is that I've gotten better. But yeah, that's basically what happens if you, if you can't solve a math problem. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.